What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Today we got another beautiful build for you. Today we're building in the Montec 903 Max. It's been a been actually probably a couple months that we built this here on the channel and live like we are right now over on our Twitch channel. Today we're featuring the 14700K pair with the RTX 4080 Super. It's not just any RTX 4080 Super, it is the White Gaming X and it looks absolutely stunning. We've got two terabyte NVMe drive coming in the KC3000. We're putting all on the beautiful Z790 Edge Ti Max motherboard. Absolutely stunning Mother motherboard coming in from MSI. We've got the Lean Lee Galahad 2 Trinity cooling it. Beautiful white 360 AIO. It's going to be top mounted in this 903 Max Frost white case as they call it. And then on top of that, we're powering it with the stunning, that's right, stunning. We haven't seen it yet on the channel. Asus Strix White Aura, even RGB uh, power supply. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure that like button to help us with the algorithm over here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more of these beautiful PCs that we build on edited live and raw like I am right now as I record this. We build every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over at Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash tints. We stream around 10 a.m. Eastern and we hope to see you soon. You guys, I see all the, the memes over here on the side. Like when you're, I'm tr you're trying to distract me. The entire time I'm like doing this intro, by the way, YouTube, I hope you hear them say that. Chat is live spamming emotes in chat just to try and get me befuddled, you know? But we did it. We did it. Hope it's a good intro. I'll see you over the build station. Let's get started on today's beautiful build. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Guys, is the music a little too loud? Should I bump it down just a smidge? If you guys haven't even checked it out, we'll be giving away three PCs. Three PCs with Mr. Officer Messer. That's right, we are doing away the new cadet systems. So the proceeds from this uh, kind of giveaway, like you entered, you kind of enter a donation and you get entered into win one of the PCs. It all goes back to the uh, the fund that um, Officer Messer has created for to help kind of like underprivileged kids in his community. Um, it's a really, really good cause. You get a chance to win a PC and you also, it goes back to the kids, you know? So we love it. I really want to get down there for it. All right, guys. There's the motherboard. This is the Z790 Ti Max, I believe is what they call it. They, this is the, the second generation of this, the second iteration of the Z790 board coming in from MSI on the Edge. That's right, they call it the Edge Ti Max. Why do they make an Edge and then Edge Ti and then also put the Max on there? I think the Max is because it has a new Wi-Fi 7, I believe. The Toolless Gen 5 NVMe slot there. I think it's more the board is stunning. What do you guys think, chat? You like this board? I've always thought it was one of the absolutely stunning motherboard. I didn't really talk about the RAM today. We have obviously got the 14700K, one of the best CPUs really. If you're not going 13th gen, like a 13900K or a 13700K, you wanna step up. The 14900K is really just a little bit better than 13900K, not by much in most applications that people really notice. The 14700K had a nice little jump in performance over the 13700K. I think that's why I think the like Gamers Nexus and some of the other um, People were saying that's what is the, what the best value of the 14th gen if you're not going to like a 1300K or a 13600K. The 14600K is still really good. Um, I think the i5s over the last couple of generations have been the best overall value. Because right now when it comes to gaming performance, nothing really can compete with the 7800X 3D. Um, the reason why Intel does a little bit better in most applications is because of using Intel's technology and things like Adobe and QuickSync and all these types of things where it comes into editing and productivity where they do kind of outperform on AMD. But for pure budget gaming, AMD is kind of killing it right now. All right, we're talking about like the best budget CPUs right now. We just said that if you're going Intel and you're not going to like an i9, the 14 or 13 600Ks, they, they really vary. The 13 600K right now, even the KF, if you don't need any kind of like editing, is really well priced. Uh, but if you're gonna be on like an AM4 platform, which is what I'm on per, uh, currently, and a lot of people are out there still have like 3800Xs and 5800Xs, they are like, I want a new GPU, but I don't really want to go to all new hardware with, you know, future AMC, AMD 70, what is it going to be? The new X3D is probably Q1 of next year. I want to kind of get a boost in my performance. I say it all the time, 5800X3D is a direct drop in with a BIOS flash for any kind of B450, B550, X570, X470 motherboards. We're going to get a astronomical boost in performance and FPS. Especially if you're going into 1440p and you're powering it with like pairing it with maybe like a 4070, 4070 Super, even up to a 4080 and a 48 Super can run really well on a 1500 X3D. Pair with some good BDI RAM. That right now is one of the best things you can potentially do right now if you're on an older kind of platform. That being AM4, older Zen from AMD is what I recommend. Sockets looking good. Let's get down and in with the CPU. Again, today, 14700K, that is the best performing CPU. And for the price, if you're going 14th gen, 
Otherwise, the 13.6 or the 13.9, what a lot of people are sticking with. 14.9 had some problems. Um, we've had to go through ones we've had to do a lot of stress testing on and evaluating. They've done well, but they've been problematic, as you can tell by recent Gamers Nexus videos that are out there. We're going to put on our brackets. We're just getting our standoffs in place for the 14. 700K and the LGA, uh, LGA 1700 cooler coming in from the, the Gay Alahad 2 Trinity. It's getting all this in place. Got our standoffs in place for the uh, for the cooler, which today is the Leanly Trinity 2 in white. We're going to get our RAM in place. And today's RAM, which I didn't talk about in the YouTube intro earlier, is the Delta 6400 C32 kit coming in from Team Group. Tried and true, absolutely beautiful RAM, that beautiful white aesthetic that you want to see with the white and silver aesthetic of the MSI Edge TI Max board. There we go. Down and in. Number two, down and in. There we go. All one place. The 79, 79 see the thing about the 7900X3 is you only get six cores that have V-cache, which is not really good for gaming. It's not bad, but it's not gonna perform the same kind of quality you get a 7800X3. So that's probably why they're getting rid of it. It's, a non, it's a not really a sought after CPU SKU. And they're probably trying to get rid of the, the amount of inventory they have on it, if that makes sense. So 1500 X3D on Prime Day is not really on sale, 338. A 5800X CPU is 197. That's a pretty good CPU for that price. But I believe the 13600, yeah, see, that's a Prime Day deal. That is actually a really good value. Um, I don't know if you can see it. That's a 5700X3D. It is down 30% for Prime Day at 180 bucks. That actually is a very good deal. The 5700X3 $183 is a very good price. That's a very good price for that CPU. Now we have everything here. We're gonna slide this, slide this aside. We again, we have the Z790 Ti Max, or Edge Ti Max coming in from MSI today. Two terabyte NVMe drive down in here. 1400K down the socket. Our stand offs in place with the Lee and Lee Galahad Trinity 2 white 360 millimeter AIO cooler. And we have 6400 megahertz, 32 gigs of uh, 6400 megahertz CL32 coming in from Team Group and the T-Force Delta RGB. Side to the side, let's get this case out. The 903 Max in white, frost white as they call it. Not just white, frost white. It's super pure white color. Absolutely beautiful case here. A lot of cable management to do on the back. I'll show you why here in a second as I flip it around and get the glass off. They give you a lot of cables to manage there. <laughs> Already in there, just a factor. I mean, they give you, they'd be fair though, they do give you four 140 millimeter fans in this case. You have three RGB in the front, one non RGB in the rear. We have a lot of pass throughs here, which is really nice. Rubber grommets, which are nice as well. Um, it's a really good case. I mean, this is really one of our, that's why it was one of our entry level cases here since built. It's just, it's phenomenal for the price. Put this motherboard in from the top down camera. Get this in. Give you the top down here. Looking good. Make sure all this, I'm sure all the cell phone off the board. All right, looks good. All right, do a front close up. This beautiful case. There we go. Let's get our start getting our cables in. Type C, USB 3.0 and Type C are going to go in first. There we go. Next will be our Type C. There we go. All in there. Work on some zips now on these fans. Like our, our like our power our power switch, our fan, our RGB headers. We'll get those in here in just a minute. We're just gonna get these uh, this power supply going. Again, too, I we talked about your, on the intro earlier. We have the beautiful ROG Strix, thousand watt gold. This is their Aurora. It's their special edition uh, power supply. It comes with white braided cables. Absolutely stunning power supply from Asus. Let's get the power supply out. There it is. Right. Today we will need SATA. Got a 12 volt high power. It's PCIe. You do not need that. We will need CPU 1, CPU 2, and our 24 pin main motherboard. There we go. All these other cables go into the bag, along with the power cable into the motherboard box. There we go. And last but not least, we have 12 volt high power, which we'll plug in here in just a second. There we go. I'm gonna slide this power supply in the back. Great wall makes good, P great wall makes good power supplies, but yes. 
I'd say Great Wall and Seasonic are our favorite OEMs right now for ATX 3.0. That's why we utilize them. Then Channel Well is kind of like, uh, I'd say like the, the, after that would be there. We get Channel Well. Like CW, CWT doesn't make bad power supplies. They're not like, I wouldn't say they're S tier. They're just good. That's why we use a little bit more of the, I, I would almost put like Seasonic as the only S tier in my opinion. And then this Great Wall is like an A plus tier. The rest of our front panel connection is connected. We move on to our cooler. There we go. Let's get our PWM header. Let's just confirm. There we go. Look good. Next will be our front panel connections. First will be hard drive LED. That's our hard drive LED. Next will be our reset switch. Next will be our power LED. And our power switch. All right. Next, let's get our 24-pin main motherboard in. What do you think, what 30, 40 series GPU do you think is the best bang for the buck? If you're going entry level 1440p, the 4070 super. If you're going high end, uh, high end, and you're doing like high FP, high like 1440p FPS or even 4K, the 4070 Ti super. The 4080 super is gonna be the next, the next best up because it's, I think it's there's no reason to honestly be bought, be purchasing a 4090 when the 48 super is like as better value per better better frame per dollar. That makes sense. Like we don't sell many 4090s anymore unless people are like, I want the ultimate best. Okay. You know, the 48 Super is gonna do a lot of what the 4090 can do for half the cost. So before we get started, we're actually gonna go top down and put the thermal paste on. The Galilei cooler is very good. Um, right now I think the Galilei Performance is probably my favorite cooler to, this, to the day of what you can purchase right now. I would, uh, I would take that back. I would say the Deep Cool Mystique, which unfortunately RIP Deep Cool in the US and then the, the Performance Galahad, and then the Trinity. The reason the Performance is better is because the beautiful P28 fans. They're not RGB, but they're like the best value fans for the price right now. There you go, thermal paste is on. Extra thermal paste to go back in the motherboard box. Now we're gonna mount the cooler. We'll actually do this before we even move the top. We're just gonna get this all in. I'll give you guys a top mount. Yeah, we, we've, no offense to Asus, the only board we typically touch right now is like the Dark Hero or the Apex. The rest of the boards have been hit or miss, and, and that's crazy because they've been working on, I know that SI has been trying to work with them, they get better performance out of their boards. MSI has been so good to us. Like, it's crazy because I love Emma, I love Asus products, but we've had, there have been some overvolting issues with some of their boards, and they're constantly revolving their, their, um, their, their, uh, um, BIOS is to fix these things that they're finding, especially with these Intel CPUs that are having issues like the 1400KS, 1400K. Adrock's been trying to get some more business too. They reached out to us. We saw them at CES. We met with them. They made some good stuff. Gigabyte's been making good stuff. They've all been doing really well. It's just, uh, we've seen some of the more, the, a lot of the, the dying CPUs we've had have been open on Asus boards this year. We had maybe one on MSI, and it was like an older... I think it was a 13900K, it was on like a Tomahawk board. But other than that, we haven't had many CPUs go bad on MSI. Like they, I feel like they had a little bit better overall protection, surprisingly. That's why we've gotten to mostly MSI boards. They've just been, they, I think they've been rock solid, you know? Um, and that's not a shot at like Asus. Like their higher end boards are very good. But even with like their higher end boards, we're having stability issues with like some of their stuff. We've been really, really, really impressed with the MSI Z790 platform. So we've been using more Asus GPUs and more Asus power supplies. And that's not like a dig at Asus because they have really, really good products. And I, we've, I've had those, those, um, those conversations with the guys at Asus because I'm really, really close to a lot of the guys, like some of the PMs and the marketing team. And uh, it's just like, you know, I told them like, where we're at. Like we've had no problems really with MSI stuff. Probably heavily on MSI probably like an 80, 80 20 split um, because they've been just so good. And the price points, they help help like a small system integrator like us. There we go. All right. Also there, we are going to change the pump cover out. Put all of our other screws we don't need into the little bag here. There we go. We're going to change the pump cover out to something a little bit more RGB based because they like RGB. So 
we are going to swap the cover really quick from the Lee and Lee to the mirrored RG Puck. All right, get the GPU out there. 4080 Super again coming in from MSI. Absolutely beautiful GPU in the Gaming X in white. There it is, chat. There is a beautiful RTX 4080 Super coming in from MSI. PCI slot covers are back in the motherboard box. Let's get this GPU in, chat. You're gonna hear a nice little thunk from this big boy. Hey, yo. Try to roll Roy on me. Here we go, chat. In we go with the beautiful RTX 4080 Super. Let's really go to this motherboard too, chat. Here we go. Three, two, one. Or that thunk. There we go. Chat, we are ready to light this bad boy up. All in. Spin this bad boy around. There she is, chat. Get ready to light it up. Exclamation word, light up in chat. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.